So if you have someone who is using bash as your default shell, let me show you like three things which you can add to your bash RC to improve your productivity using bash. So you can see this is my like if I do which shell you can see I'm using bash. So let me increase the font size if you are not able to see that properly. So I'm using bash. So in bash you can add fussy finder like if I do a control R you can see I have this fussy finder so here I can search from history like uh, I've done some like symbolic link so you can see so if I type in something like this comes up so I can navigate and if I need to do that just hit enter and it's available over here so this will make you like uh, navigate your history very easy so that plugin is called FCF so if you want to use FCF all you need to do on arch is sudo pacman s fcf you do that it's going to install fuzzy finder so for me fuzzy finder is already available then you have to like add something to the bash rc i will show you in the end of the video like what you have to add so the next one is called qf uh, this one QFC so it's like it's having like real-time auto completion so in order for you to use that you do a control F so it will give you something like this so if you want to navigate to downloads or something like a CD and if you do control F you have this option and if I hit downloads now it's instant as that it's like you don't need to do tab completion or something like uh, as always you can install sudo pacman dash s bash dash completion so if you install that you are going to have tab completion for auto complete so if you hit tab it's going to complete your command something like this so if you need to use qcf you can use control f after you add the specific configurations to your bash rc so if i open up vim dot bash rc oh i'm sorry i have to navigate um to my home directory first so vim dot bash rc you can see i have added like uh, source with fussy finder key bindings so i have installed i have used these to get the uh, fussy finder available with bash so i can do a control like can do so this is control r so this is fussy finder so if i need to search something in my bash history i just need to do like uh, ln or something if i type something it's going to come like that so that's how fussy finder works so you need to add uh, these two lines to your bash rc after installing fcf of course then you can have uh, qf see so if you go to the qfc home page it's having installation instructions so all you need to do is you have to clone this repository you can use this command then you need to add this to your bash rc so that will work just fine so you can see like i have added the same line over here so if you need to use qfc all you have to do is control and f and you're going to get this so you can navigate like this so that's like a little convenience then the third one is uh, comma cd so if you want to install comma cd all you have to do is just copy this and run it in your terminal so it will download the package and it will also add it to your bash rc but if uh, you try to run it immediately it's not going to work so in your home directory chmod you have to chmod plus x and uh, dot comma cd dot sh you have to give it executable permission so that is like inside your home directory you have to add this to your bash rc and after you add that you need to give the permission to comma cd and if you are if i do like a comma and shift d o 
something like uh, DOW and hit enter it's going to navigate to home and downloads then you have options like you can read through the website how it's working like it's having usage example so you can run through that so that's pretty much some stuff you can add to your bash in order for you to improve your productivity so if you need fcf you need to add uh, these two lines source user share fcf key bindings and completion so this will like after you install fcf this will give you like control r to have uh, frc finder for your history bash search then you can add these two like these for qfc and these will be for commerce cd so all these things will be available in their own like how you can install will be also available in their respective pages so i will leave all the links in the description so this is the home page for fussy finder so it's giving you instruction how to use it so that's pretty much it so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day